Hello there and welcome to Songs of Praise from my homeland, County Antrim. As we explore this beautiful part of Northern Ireland, you'll be meeting people with a passion for life and the great outdoors. Bikers who are on the right track. A man who's happy and on the crest of a wave. The rugby players who pray as hard as they play. And we have special performances from local singer-songwriters Keith and Kristen Getty and Rend Collective Experiment. Nestling in the hillside along the County Antrim coastline is the chapel of St Killian's College. It's got a backdrop of fields, forests and hedgerows and a spectacular view over the Irish Sea. It's an inspiring location for our congregation as they gather and sing the first hymn. Praise my soul, the King of Heaven. is breathtaking here. In more ways than one, at every turn, there are dramatic landscapes, forests, mountains, and of course, beaches. And where you have waves, you will have surfers. People like Andy Hill, who's as happy in the water as he is out of it. Andy runs a water sports business in the seaside town of Port Rush, which is just at the end of the beach. I've been surfing here almost 30 years now and that passion just developed into my life, really. I was a member of the Irish national surfing team. I was at three world surfing championships and seven European championships, and I was an Irish national champion six years on the trot. It sounds like an idyllic lifestyle that I led, and it was good. It gave me a lot of life experiences and opportunity, met wonderful people, but I still felt that there was something missing. It wasn't quite fulfilled the right way, and uh, I became actually quite unwell and uh, just had a life-changing moment. I just sort of feel that God threw a, a storm into my life and just made me look at things in a slightly different way. Yeah, look at that for a wave. 
would you be game? I sort of really realised that uh, maybe there's more to this world than just me and uh, it was sort of a search there, sort of a pivotal moment where I, I sort of went from almost being, well I was an atheist and I just sort of now believed in God and I wanted to research that. The aim really is to try and find out, you know, who Jesus was. I help was. Um, lead a Christianity Explored um, course and it's just an informal presence where we can introduce the Gospel of Mark to people. Yeah, we're on uh, week two. Here. All sorts of people come. We've got people that come from our own fellowship, people from the community. It's just an opportunity to just take that time. Just, to, I think that's the thing, our world is so busy. When I was just a surfer and a competitive surfer, the, the waves were just all about me. I was almost addicted to surfing. I just needed that salt water fix every day. I wanted to ride those waves as aggressively as I could. And it's when you have that addiction, it becomes your idol. And uh, that's when it becomes dangerous. And basically, surfing was my idol. Now, don't get me, I still am passionate about surfing it's still, but it, it doesn't define me anymore. I would like to say I'm defined as a Christian now, but I'm still blessed to go in the water and surf and enjoy it. After I became a Christian, I just had this peace and I can rely on God and Jesus' strength now to meet the challenges of this busy, busy world. It's a gift. Every, anybody can receive this gift. You know, and it's a gift of grace. Like, none of us deserve it, but just accept it. Like, trust in what Jesus has done for you, and I guarantee you your life will be so much better. There are many ways of getting around County Antrim. You can drive, you can swim, you can walk, and you can bike. A lot of tourists love to take their time and cycle along the coast road, stopping every now and again to enjoy this incredible view. And then there are others whose eyes never leave the tracks, like Winston Copeland. Winston's part of a group with the unusual name of Bomb and I, which thankfully is not as bad as it sounds. And squaring up to the challenge of bumpy forest paths is something that he takes in his stride. As soon as we heard bomb, and it clicked. At that time, Northern Ireland was sort of coming out of conflict. It stands out and it gets a reaction no matter where you go. Um, it's a fantastic theme. <laughs> 
BOM stands for Believers on Mountain Bikes. Using bikes as a tool, as a medium, um, to get people's attention uh, and to then share the gospel with them. Through time and through prayer, it has formed into the group it is today. Whenever you're out on the trails, one of the things you'll come across is logs and roots and different obstacles. We felt in order to reach young folk, young groups, we needed to get them out on the bikes. And that's where we approached a local bike shop and they in turn came back with 10 mountain bikes. And that was our first ever real answer to prayer. Mountain biking is a fantastic way to get out and about uh, in the mountains and the forests to, to meet new friends and to push yourself. There's so many challenges on the bike. You've certainly a sense of achievement and a sense of fun. Faith and life is full of challenges. Your life is full of challenges from uh, the time you get up in the morning till you go to, the, to bed, you face challenges. Uh, much like mountain biking, from when you get on the bike till you get off the bike, you're facing challenges. Um, and your faith uh, helps you deal with those challenges on a day-to-day -day basis. It's as much a buzz for us to get out on the bikes on a Saturday afternoon as it is to take a group out, and that's why we love it. And you start to talk to them about who we are, what we're about. We try to relate mountain biking to everything we do as regards um, the gospel. So it's just always about ticking the boxes and keeping them entertained, but also getting a message across. The thing is about building a relationship. These are folks we want to meet with again, to see again. Once they become Christians, if that's the way it works, then they'll be discipled through their own churches and we can come back and, and get to know them. To encourage them to think outside the box as regards Christianity, that Christian isn't being about just on a Sunday, it's an everyday affair, it's through your hobbies, through your sports. Even if there's only two or three come to us about mountain biking, if the rest of the group go on and look for hockey or football or rugby or knitting, whatever they find themselves interested in, a group of Christians together doing the same thing can impact so much more than one on their own.